We are heading to SFO, taking uh, Sheila's mom to the airport. Hey, Sheila. Babu, hi. It is day 12 of October. October 12th. <laughs> nice car, Dad. What? Bumping. <laughs> like it. Nice Morning. Car. Very roomy. Morning. Good morning. How's it going? Well, look at the, look at this with the videos and the seats. Look at that. Look at the headrest. Strap up. Typical cargo. I always gotta have the Balak Bai in box. Backpack and shoulder rest and big ass luggage. Do you want me to hold that? Huh? You want me to push that? Do you want to go to the bathroom first? I'll watch it. You can go to the bathroom. Okay. It's like a Vessel Rust hour, so I waited for the traffic to you know, slow down a little bit. Uh -huh. Did you meet Auntie in the PI? Yeah? Oh, the battery's gonna die. I thought we charged it already. Uh -huh. I didn't charge today. So we're here at the airport and we just had a really good breakfast. Breakfast of champions. So we got it from a place called Lori's Diner, which is actually pretty decent for air airport food. I think there's one in downtown San Francisco, Lori's Diner. Nice. What's mom doing over there? So I wanted to show you guys some of the things that we ate. Oh, nothing. Pretty good menu. This is what Mel had. Special omelet. This is what I had. The country breakfast. Eggs Benedict. And they cook it in front of you too. So it's pretty good. And then we've got Chinese food. Chinese food, Japanese food. Good. So yeah, we're just waiting here till my mom's flight uh, takes off and actually we're a little early so we don't even have a gate number yet. So we'll know in about an hour.
Oh, look at all the black like, wine boxes. That's how they, that's how they pack it all up. Can you zoom into that, Sheila? All um, the black wine boxes. Oh, yeah. It makes sense. It's like shrink wrapped almost. <laughs> We're threatening. Tell her and fix it again. Alright, let's try that again because I think it was like zoomed to my face. Um, go home pretty much after the airport. Been here. Yes, woo! All right. Two of them, two of them, two of them. Oh. Very good. Uh, Giants, so Sorry. yeah, we got three to two now. Woo, Giants! Um, let me t show you what we had for dinner and lunch. We did not eat very healthy today. We kind of splurged. Look what we got. And the thing about this is it's from Mountain Mike's, and I think they don't deep fry their chicken wings. I think they bake it, which is something that we do too. So it's um, a tad bit more healthy. And then we got gluten-free pizza, and I think we're going to start ordering from Mountain Mike's from now on because it's actually really good. And it's cheaper than uh, what's that place? Extreme Pizza. Yeah, it's cheaper, and it actually tastes more like um, real, crust. real crust than, you know... I don't know. There, you could definitely taste the difference if you ever ordered gluten-free pizza. You could definitely ta uh, taste the difference in texture and in taste when you go through certain pizza places. But Mountain Mike's, I have to say that they do a really good job with their gluten-free. And maybe some of you are probably wondering why do we order gluten-free all the time? Why do we order gluten-free? It's just something Mel started doing because I don't think he likes white flour it's harder for your body to break down it's a lot more healthier and gluten-free crust usually is made from almond uh almond powder what else almond powder and coconut flour um let me show you when i make gluten-free pizza crust and i also make gluten-free uh, bread i use let's see if i could find it Oh, I can't find... Oh, here it is. Oh, that's not it. Ah! Things are falling. Things are falling. Okay, forget it. You know, when I get more organized in here, I'll probably show you guys. It's an easy recipe, and... It's an easy recipe, and... Um, if you guys want to see it one day, I'll videotape me making it. It's really easy, and it's light. I've also made um, cauliflower pizza crust. Basically, it's all cauliflower. You use a cheesecloth to kind of um, take out the moisture. It actually pre is pretty good. Oops. I don't know why I keep turning off the lights. We're just doing laundry. Look at all this laundry. And that's pretty much all what we've day. been doing all day. These are the two pumpkins we got. relatively like different in size but um yeah we're just gonna um finish doing i'm finishing the blogging and the vlog from yesterday um it's a little bit longer than normal because you know i was out all day um i didn't want to show the full shot of the students faces because you know they're kind of um young still so that's why i didn't really show their face um and let's see we're gonna watch the episode the latest episode of walking dead before we watch the new episode that way we're all caught up but yeah that is pretty much our um sunday and we will get back to you guys later so i just got off the phone with my mom and you know how we took her to the airport like around 10 o'clock so this whole time i thought that she had left already to go to the philippines um her flight was at 1:50. And she just called me about 10 minutes ago, and it's 8 o'clock, and she told me her flight was canceled. So she was at the airport the entire day today trying to figure out how to get to her um, original um, arrival time and standing in lines, talking to different agents, and come to find out she's now at a hotel in San Mateo trying to wait for her flight for tomorrow. So 
I told her, you know, it's a good thing. God was looking out for her. Like, for some reason, she and those other passengers weren't meant to be on that flight. So, yeah, it's an inconvenience. But if you look at it in the long run, you know, it's, it's probably she's better off. So, my dad went home all the way back to Sassoon only to come back like a few hours later. So, now he's with her at the hotel in uh, San Mateo. And I just said, just make a night out of it. Make it like your second honeymoon. <laughs> So she will be leaving tomorrow at 1.50, the same time that she was leaving today. Um, we tried uploading the vlog from yesterday, a few minutes ago, but the quality was just really bad. So we're going to have to delete the whole thing and then try to upload it. So it's going to be a minute. Right now, it's tie again. It's 3-3, giant St. Louis game, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. What inning? Eighth inning? Top of the eighth. Top of the eighth. So, two more innings to go. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my fantasy football. I'm not doing too well, but I wanted to show you guys. Anybody who's interested is going to show you guys how it actually works. So, the league that we're in is on the ESPN. I use my computer since I'm uploading. Okay. The league that we're in, it's called No New Friends. We are using the ESPN one. And, you know, I was bragging hella because... I was like second place, which is not in first place, so I shouldn't even be bragging. But you know, I felt confident because um, for a girl who doesn't really know football, and I don't, I don't claim to know football, and I don't have a strategy at all. In fact, my coworker helped me the first season to kind of get me started, and then second season, I pretty much did it all by myself. Um, but wait, how do I log off? And so then I'm on. Oh, but anyways, yeah, I was feeling confident because now this is my third season and I thought that I would have, like, the same luck. I don't. I've lost maybe 50, 60% of my games. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how it works here, so be patient with me. Okay, so found it, logged in, so my team name is Team Gold Sun. I actually got that from um, Adept Clothing. It's a Bay Area brand. Um, you'll find a lot of their hoodies and things sports related um, in the Bay Area. But anyways, I'm going against Joanna. Her team is called Kill a Cap, and she has a picture of Kaepernick. Look at my score. It's 87 or 82 to 94, and she has like one player left to play. So obviously, I'm not gonna win. <laughs> Um, all my players have played at this point. The only player that's giving me points right now is my kicker. And there's just no way because I have, it's in the fourth quarter. There's no way that I'm even going to get up to 94 points. And she has one player left to play tomorrow. So I'm doing very good. And I think it's because I care more this season than I ever have. Like all the other season, I didn't care. I was not even looking at... You know, I wasn't checking in and looking on my app on my phone. I would occasionally look. I would set my team. Maybe if I remember now, I'm just like on it all the time. I think I just need to like let go and not care and put so much emphasis on it because I'm constantly checking my points. Like, I don't know if you guys ever watched that show, The League, but that's totally how I feel. And that's such a good show. You guys should, uh, even if you're not into fantasy football, you should just check out that show anyways because it's, it's pretty funny. So, I lost, and if we look at my standings, let's see, I think I'm in fourth place. No, third place, and there's four players on my team. Is Team Obliterator, so he's right here, and he's three and two for now. Yeah, but anyways, the way that fantasy football works is you organize a draft day, and that means everybody gets together. You could do it at a place, or you could do it online. And basically, you pick numbers um, from one to how it, however many people are going to be in the team and or in your group, in your league. And whatever number you pick, like for example, I picked number nine, so I had to go ninth. And then you just pick your players. So obviously, the higher number gets like the more favorable players. Nine, you know, and it, I was lucky. Everybody picked a running back. And I went with um, Drew Brees. I know. I didn't go with Ann Rogers or anybody who's like more favorable because I've had a Drew Brees for the past two seasons and he always gave me like really good points. So 
Just, you know, whatever doesn't fix, uh, whatever is it broke, don't fix it. Is that the idiom? Something like that. But anyways, yeah, so um, I'm going to call it a night, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Mel, do you want to say anything before I turn it off? Go Giants!